Hello everyone. I recorded this video to share an amazing discovery that I made and the experiment that followed. This is about a desert aquatic microhabitat and the ephemeral organisms that live within. This story begins in a water retention area in a mundane urban location in Arizona. It fills up with water and holds it for about a month during the monsoon season. I actually stopped here to restock my algae for my little aquarium slash terrarium. But when I arrived, I found something that blew my mind. Embedded in the mud were the corpses of these really interesting short-lived desert shrimp called triops. And I didn't find just one or two here. I found thousands. Once I saw this and got over the shock, I realized that this was a very special place and I wanted to learn more about it. The other thing that I knew was that in this mud were not just their dead bodies, but also their eggs. The key to restarting the cycle in the next monsoon season. So I collected some of this and brought it home. Within three days, my little jar filled with nothing but distilled water and the mud from the site was teeming with life. I had all kinds of little aquatic organisms. I had not just triops, but I also had some fairy shrimp, some clam shrimp, daphnia, cyclops, and a variety of other interesting organisms. Not only did I have the fun little mobile animals, I also had some sedentary animal predators like Hydra here, which is kind of akin to freshwater sea anemones, complete with stinging cells. And you can see the little nematocyst dots in this image. So an entire ecosystem with predator and prey. By the second and third week, the larger organisms were recognizable. Here we see clam shrimp, which surround their body with a hard shell, I assume to protect themselves from predators. And the star of the show are the triops. These triops are omnivores, they're scavengers, they're predators, they're everything. And uh, I think visually they're the most interesting of everything that grew. These guys will get to be about three centimeters long and they're just super fun to have around. Once the triops reached an appropriate size, I transferred them to my little aquarium terrarium, and they just had the best of time. By now the clam shrimp shells had fully developed, and you can see the hard white uh, section on top here. They were happy as well. In addition to whatever they could scavenge on the bottom of the tank, I also fed these guys some frozen kale and some frozen carrots. They had a long, happy triops life and lived for about two months. Overall, this was an amazing experience. We went from dried mud to life in a matter of days. If you would like to experience this for yourself, you can actually buy fairy shrimp, triops, daphnia eggs, clam shrimp eggs from an organization called Arizona Fairy Shrimp. I'll put the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.